is Alzheimer's disease hereditary or is there a genetic component? Alzheimer's disease is a very complicated disease. There are a variety of different potential causes. Genetics may lead someone down the path of Alzheimer's, but another person with that same exact gene may never get it. This is a concept called epigenetics. Now let's break down this word because you probably haven't heard it before. Epigenetics means epi, the environment, and genetics means genes. So the impact of a person's environment intermixed with their genes can sometimes be the clue whether or not a person develops Alzheimer's disease. For example, some people can smoke their entire lives but never get lung cancer. Other people smoke and get lung cancer early on in life. The key here is if certain people have certain genetics or susceptibility genes, that interact with this environmental change, for example, smoking, that person can develop a disease. Well, it's the same thing with Alzheimer's disease. There are many different Alzheimer's genes that we have found, dozens and dozens. By far, the most common gene is called ApoE. ApoE can be a variety of different combinations, including an ApoE2, an ApoE3, or an ApoE4 from mom and from dad. If a person has at least one copy of the ApoE4 variant, that person is at an increased risk of Alzheimer's disease. However, like we just talked about, the environmental and lifestyle choices a person makes is critical in understanding whether that ApoE gene will actually put a person down the path towards Alzheimer's disease. For example, people with the ApoE4 variant have increased cholesterol. People with the ApoE4 variant really need to control their cholesterol, need to exercise on a regular basis, and eat a brain-healthy diet, as well as avoid smoking, and a variety of other lifestyle choices. If they do that, they may be able to avoid getting Alzheimer's disease. However, Alzheimer's, again, is complicated, and there are a variety of other genes. There are certain genes, especially early-onset Alzheimer's genes, that can cause Alzheimer's disease in a person no matter what they do. These genes oftentimes cause Alzheimer's in the earliest of ages, including the late 40s and early 50s. The good news here is that these genes are exceptionally rare, meaning less than 1% of cases. But in those cases, if you get an Alzheimer's gene, that specific gene will cause Alzheimer's disease. So to review, the genetics around Alzheimer's disease is quite complicated, but genes are not our destiny. We can win the tug of war against our genes and with future studies and future drugs and future evidence, we'll truly be able to understand what we can do and what we can't do in the fight against Alzheimer's.